Bonjour, je m'appelle Monsieur Festet. How's it going, everybody? Uh, today we are going to be doing another opening. I'm not calling it, not calling it an unboxing or an unbagging. Just going to say opening, just because. Well, you'll see. Um, today we got something very special coming from Kaiju Big Battle. Um, Kaiju Big Battle is like a kind of like a wrestling federation type thing that's what the name is for um but <clears throat> they do this thing where they take kaiju monsters like made up original kind of kaiju monsters not like godzilla and stuff like that but like ones that they made up kind of some silly ones and stuff like that, and they do like wrestling matches in the ring, kind of, you know, where good, quote unquote, you know, good monsters will fight, uh, fight off against bad monsters. But um, anyway, if you if you get a chance, look it up. They have a YouTube channel, Kaiju Big Battle, and they're on Twitter, same name. I believe they actually have a, a mobile game now too. But this is going to be focusing on their kickstarter minifigure launch um it's their very first um minifigure series and they did it on kickstarter i was one of the backers and um it got enough backers and enough funds um you know they raised enough money so that they were able to get funded <clears throat> so they sent me my you know uh rewards for backing it and I entered the tier where I got a full set, and I went with the Kickstarter exclusive Glow in the Dark. You know, sometimes with Glow in the Dark, especially with minifigures, sometimes the details don't really come through as good as, you know, a standard opaque color. Like, I think the other option was Flesh. I wanted to mention the setup here is just temporary i'm doing it here just because um it is piping hot where i usually do these so and um i'm probably not going to be able to remember all the names um i've seen some of their youtube videos i've never been to a live event but they kind of you know intersect with the designer and art toy world um independent uh you know art artists and toy makers i um kind of heard about them through the um through the channels like that from what i understand they kind of did the preliminary sculpts for these and then george gaspar of double g toys he kind of um touched up the sculpts and you know helped um get them you know nice and sharp for the the final you know release of them got the first one here um Already right off the bat, can't remember his name, but um, it's pretty cool. And then the next one, I believe this is actually his name, Robox, which is a combination of robot and box. Um, <laughs> I believe this is just called the waffle or the uh, I don't know it's something to do with waffle or did they name this like the pancake or something well they even did like the you know the outer edge or crust from when you kind of you know make the waffle and it presses it out um, he's got his little hands here I think this one is called the Deviler, or Deviler, which is like an alien type kaiju. It's got claws, and it's a 
Cyclops, got one eye and the horns and the mouth. Next one is called Faden. And this is actually an original um, Glios O'Neill design character created by um, Matt Dowdy of O'Neill Design. Or not, but they did a good job with this sculpt. It's very true to the character. I wish I would have brought one of the figures out to kind of compare, but I did not. Oh, almost forgot. The Deviler, this one here, came with this extra small minifigure. Uh, the, I think it's called the Baby Deviler. So it's like a, you know, extra miniature version of the Deviler. Next one here. I can't remember the name of this one. I think it's like a combination of like a bunch of different words like octopus uh, or squid and crab maybe, but I can't remember the name of it. But really cool, you got, it's got, it's a cyclops also. You got the one big eye here and then like kind of an octopus or squid head with the claws and then its body. Its body almost looks like it's like seaweed. I love like these mini figures that have been coming out lately. They're just so super detailed and well made. I think this one is called something cockroach, like space cockroach, or something like that. Which is kind of like a cockroach with like a helmet on. This one I think is called Senior Plantain. He's like a Spanish wrestler. Anybody like plantains? I'm not crazy about him. I think his name is Dr. Cube. Dr. Cube. And he's like the main villain of Kaiju Big Battle. He's like responsible for creating a lot of the monsters. And then, you know, the good monsters kind of have to battle his monsters that he creates. You know, he's got his little stethoscope here. And this is also kind of like one of their, like, mascots or logos is, is the cube head. And we have, this is a Dr. Cube Minion. That's his name. He's just this guy with a machete machete and he's got like long hair and he's wearing a mask everybody that's been to the shows recommend them that they're a lot of fun but i've never had a chance to go my reward tier for the kickstarter also came with a pin and this is what they sent Oh, one other thing I wanted to mention was one thing with these figures is see how like flexible that is and it's cool in here where I am it's not really hot where you know like where higher temperatures can make toys like this which these are resin they could make these you know more flexible but that was one odd thing I noticed about these is that they're really really flexible the certain thinner parts of them is like really maybe a little too flexible so <clears throat> anyway this is the pin they sent and it was kind of like a throw-in or an extra for the tier that i signed up for to get this exclusive full set so i'm not trying to bash it or anything but this is a button okay they said pin and i thought in my head, I thought, oh, uh, you know, nice soft enamel pin. You know, in my head, that's what I thought I was getting, and they didn't have any picture for it. 
Like, I didn't even know what the image was going to be. Which is kind of cool. It's not one of the figures. So, that's kind of cool that it's, you know, a different figure. But, yeah, this is this is a button. It's not a, it's not a pin. Not a big deal. Still, overall, I was very happy with these. They're awesome. I haven't seen the glow on them yet. <clears throat> and then they just threw in this, too. Because this is what the the packs of them were going to come in, like, on their website. How they're going to sell them, which is, believe it or not, kaiju.com is their website, which pretty good they were able to get that name so yeah they just threw in this box but you know left it flat so kind of just for the artwork but yeah that, that's how they were planning on selling them on their site which i believe they are now i you know i believe they're still in stock it's in the flesh color but each pack is two collectible minifigures which i think they're five bucks a piece plus shipping which is not bad and so when i found out about that that, which happened after the Kickstarter was all said and done, I decided to go on the site and go ahead and just pick up a couple packs. You know, since I went ahead and got the glow in the dark, I decided, okay, well, I'll just get a couple of these to get the flesh color, which these are blind boxes, obviously. I, there's a chance I could get doubles or whatever. And this is the full complete series. So as far as I know, there aren't any other ones that I don't have. And speaking of that, this one, these actually have the names. So these are all the characters in the series. You got Dr. Cube, Silver Potato, that was the first one I did, so that's that, that one's name. Robox, Baby Deviler, Sky Deviler, Cycloptopus, okay, Pedro Plantain, did I get that one? No, I said Senior Plantain. Um, Cube Minion. Astro Roach. Faden. And French Toast. That's what it was. Because I was thinking... Oh, that's why I was thinking that they might have named him something like Pancake. Even though he's a waffle. But no, it was French Toast. So, <laughs> yeah. You know, that's, that's what I'm saying. They like to have fun. Like, it's a bit, some of the stuff is a bit, like, tongue-in-cheek. And... and we got another Pedro Plantain in the um, original classic. Cashy flesh color, and then we got another Dr. Cube. Very fitting. And like I said, he's kind of like their one of their logos right there. And I think this is another wrestling character in the two different colors. And the next one. All right, cool. We didn't get any flesh doubles. That's a victory right there. And we got another Faded. Awesome. He's one of my favorite ones. There. And these all stand beautifully. They did a really good job sculpting these and balancing them and everything. Cycloptopus, I think it was. Right here, just tons of detail on him. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, see you on the next one.